Thanks for more love bugs. What's up? What's going on? So today we're gonna be talking. We're gonna do more of like a chit chat today, not an actual recap. Just I wasn't even gonna do Black and Crew, but I love this show so much. It's out here in New York. You know I love tattoos and everything like that. So I was like, you know what? I still wanna come on here and I'm sorry, I had to make sure my mic was on. And wanted to make sure that I at least talk to you guys and just kind of get your feedback. We can have a little discussion, a little chit chat. Okay, so first we're going to talk about, and they're playing like music in the background. First we're going to talk about the whole Mel and Sassy situation where Mel was talking to Sassy and... She just kind of told her that she kind of has to pick sides because right now Puma's not really the best person to be around because of him and the whole jumping situation. You know, she doesn't really condone violence. That's not really a good look for her, especially being that she wants to be a professional. And I actually, it's funny, I don't know if I told you guys, well, I told some of you guys that have me on Periscope. I actually met Mel about two weeks ago. She was at this club out in Queens. That's where she works. And she was real cool. I was like, yo, I know you from somewhere. I was like, and I was told my friend, I was like, I think she's on this show that I watch called Black Ink Crew. And then my my friend, she went up to her and she was like, oh, are you from Black Ink Crew? Because I don't like to make people feel like I'm some type of groupie or anything like that. So I don't really like to, oh my God, I don't do that. I didn't even ask her for a picture. I probably should have. It probably would have been a good look or whatever. Because she's real pretty. She looked like she gained a little bit of weight too. But anyways, I feel like what she was saying was right because... At times in your life, especially if somebody's kind of bringing you down, I do feel like you have to kind of move forward and it's sometimes it's time to let old friends go if they're not helping you to be a better person, a better version of yourself. And I feel like right now Puma needs to like find himself, he needs to do what he gotta do and maybe Sassy just needs to let him go for right now even though it's probably one of the hardest things that she would have to do because they're so close, they're like conjoined twins or something. Teddy and Sky, they seem to be having a real good relationship now. They moving forward and I'm just like, yo, Teddy, do not mess this up. Because she seems like she would be a real loyal type of female. You know, one that's like down for him and really ready to like fight for him if she needs to. You know, one of them ride or die chicks. Uh, Black in the Black Ink crew members, they have like a party or whatever. Sky invites Sadie. Sassy and Caesar was just acting real like yo why is she here he was just tight about the whole situation about her being there because he feels like she's a member of Inc. 124 and they're like forbidden to come in I'm like come on at the end of the day at least hear her out because she wanted to talk to him he was acting a little funny he didn't want to hear her I'm like at least hear her out hear what she has to say but even though he kind of softened up once they had their conversation, Duchess is just like, Psh, just because y'all too cool doesn't mean that I'm going to be cool with you. I mean, it takes time for certain people, and that's totally understandable. When certain situations happen, when people are really close to one another, you kind of question them and question their loyalty and what it is do they have any hidden agendas are they trying to spy and go back and run back to the other person so it makes sense the reason why caesar and, and duchess was feeling some type of way about sassy because they know how close she is to puma and how they always like together all the time so it seems like caesar and puma they kind of have a lot to work on as far as their relationship because He's talking about he wants to, you know, build his empire and everything. And when they meet up with Yandy and her boom in DC's, her husband, they were kind of talking about kids and stuff and raising kids. And she's like, she doesn't really, it's like, where would they want to raise kids? And she was kind of talking something about North Carolina and she wants to open up a shop in North Carolina. And that's great that she wants to branch out. She wants to expand, make that money in a lot of different places and go back to her roots. But he's like, yo, at the end of the day, I'm a city dude. I'm not trying to be going around all these trees. And I can totally understand where he's coming from because, you know, you don't really want to, if you're from the city, you're from the fast life, you don't want to go and be like an old person. I mean, no offense to people that live out in the country, but it's just real different from people that live in the city to go and make such a drastic move to being in like the, where the trees are, like the sub suburbs and things like that, or a rural type of area. It's real, it's real different, you know what I mean? 
Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I get what he's saying. I mean, for me, I would like to live in some kind of tropical place like Cali or maybe Florida or something like that. I think those would be pretty similar to here because, you know, here is in New York, it's so fast paced. But I mean, he should definitely be open to at least trying it out and maybe they can commute back and forth, especially if they expand and make that money, they can have two houses, things like that, you know? It's all about compromise, but I don't think that he's gotten to that point where he's really ready to compromise. So I feel like they really need to go to pre-marriage counseling and things like that before they actually take that next big step. Teddy, he seems like he's about to fall into temptation because he's talking to this chick named India. She looks kind of old in the face, but she has a nice, really nice body. And he's all like grabbing up her butt. She's trying to make him come see her. And she has pretty much no respect for herself or for the relationship that he's sick claiming to have with with um this chick, with Sky. And he's just like temptation is killing him right now. Cause it's like right there. It's like all out in the open, like just take me. So I don't know. He he might be messing up real soon. I don't I don't know. Because this is all brand new to him. He ain't true to this. He new to this. Anya, she's crazy. We all know that. After the chick done jumped out of a freaking moving vehicle, we all and got her foot run over and broken up in a whole ton of different spots. We all knew she was bugged. Okay? And yeah, she is bugged. What the hell? The freaking girl threw out all the man papers, all of his, his birth certificate, everything. She threw it out. And she mashed up his his laptop and everything. So I don't know. He's saying that he thinks she's probably they're probably done and kaput. That's it for real, for real this time. Even though she done kicked him out like eight times. I mean, whatever. Some cops come for Jaquita. Jaquita days. And that's actually Sky's real name. Yo, I was bugged out like, oh man, she about to go back to the tent city, city again. She just came out. Come on, free Jaquita. But then they they was like, oh, it was just a prank. It was some strippers. They was all gyrating and doing the done thing up in her face and just giving her a grand old time. So that was a nice little thing for her since she'd been locked away for like two months. Uh, when Puma seems to see sassy, he just, I feel like he's bugging. Like, he needs somebody, he needs a big brother, or he needs a guidance counselor. He needs somebody, a, a mentor, to talk to him and get some sense into him. Because he's talking about how he don't care about life. He don't care about if his child has a father, even though she's the person that he looks to in the morning. She's looking out for him to see where he is. She can't go to sleep unless she sees him. But yeah, he's talking all this craziness like about war. Like, dude, you're not even about that life. I feel like if anything, I feel like Caesar's more about that life. I feel like he's being forced into that because he wants to be tough for his woman. I feel like this whole thing was blown out of proportion. And I've said this before in previous episodes. I feel like it was just blown out of proportion and now they just letting it get the best of them because I feel like his Shawnee, she blew it out of proportion because they didn't even come out of no beef, out of nothing like that. She's the one who made up this whole story and now it made this big, big thing. Like they need to just sit down, have a good conversation and just squash this whole thing. But from the coming attractions, from the upcoming episodes, it just looks like it's going to get crazier. It looks like this dude, Mr. Sperm, Sperm, everywhere, here, there, everywhere, is about to have another baby with this crazy chick that used to work at, I forgot her name now, the one that used to work at the shop with all the colored hair and everything. Looked like she about to have his baby. She showed him a pregnancy test. It looked like it was positive. I'm spitting all over the place. And what else? The whole bunch of fights. It looked like Duchess and, and what's her name about to have a fight? Sky. And that's going to be crazy because you know they both have some big tempers. But I, I'm, I rock with Sky though. I really, out of all of them right now, I feel like Sky is my favorite. And then Sassy, she's pretty cool. I like her style. I like how she has different hairstyles and colors and things like that. And um, yeah, it's just about to get crazier and crazier. So that's kind of why I wanted to do this little chit chat with you guys. I probably, if anything, if I continue on, if you guys like, if you guys share and I see that you really are enjoying, then I'll keep on going. And I may even turn it into a real full recap where I do my little snap snaps. But right now, I was just like, I wanted to come on chit chat real, real quick with you guys and see what you guys had to say about the episode and what's going down. All right, thanks for watching. Stay fabulous, live free, soar limitless. See you in the next one.
Laters.